There, is that working? Test. Okay, you should be able to hear me. The the mic says it's it's moving back and forth. Okay, I I didn't hit the button hard enough apparently. Yay! Okay. <laughs> There's always that delay where I'm like, okay, is it working? Is it working? All right, yay! All right, I just want to give a quick shout out to Artie Wolf, whose birthday it is today. So let's give some hype for Artie Wolf. Hype! Yay! Oh, that didn't work. What happened? Oh my emotes. We're gonna have to do it manually. I don't know what's going on with my bot. Oh, you know what? I bet Mike didn't. The you know how every um some I need to buy the uh, the bot a subscription. That's why. Oh my gosh! I need to put that on on a repeat so that I can do it. <laughs> 45 ain't old. No, it's not. It's awesome. 45 is a good age. Yeah, the bot, the bot just needs a subscription. <laughs> Hello, the real bush guy. It's mine. Mein Freund aus Deutschland. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I'm so glad to see everybody. We have the real brush guy. We have Steve A. My Texas proto maker gifting the, the sub bot, uh, the bot to a, a uh, Oh my gosh, yep, they've given 11 gifts in the channel. And Lamunas just resubscribing with the tier three for 10 months in a row. Look at that, that's awesome. Let's give some hype. So now we can do actual hype. Let's see if it works. Thank you for, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that, Proto Maker. appreciate that. I don't know if uh, we need to set that on, uh... <laughs> on repeat. Hey, Ash Kathleen. All right, I'm going to show you guys. We like to write down our awesome subscribers. We um, are currently doing a sub goal. So if you subscribe at the tier one level, it gives us one point, one sub point, two points for tier two and six points for tier three. We're at a sub goal of for 225. We have two, technically we have 214 right now because of Enlum, uh, for Emlamunas or the bot. I don't remember which one. But <laughs> I think it's for new subs. But for every point we get, we get closer to our goal. And when we get to the goal, we're going to give away painted mini. Yeah, painted show she's mini. Actually, I think it was every six points. We have like little goal thing. For every six points, we're going to give away a painted mini. Or if I don't have an, a painted mini handy, we'll give away an unpainted mini. Subscribers. Let's do this over here in Lamunis. I know I always say that wrong. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Drake Wady, good morning. Yeah, almost a baby. A 45 is a baby. I don't. Maybe I would. If that makes me a baby, I'm only. I'm going to be 47 in November. So I'm a little bit older than Artie Wall. Just a little bit. All right, let me show you what we're painting. We have the awesome Scale 75, Captain Ahab. <laughs> and we've gotten quite a lot done on him. This is what we've worked on so far. I've got most of the gun all done. I think I could probably tighten this part up a little bit. And I've gotten the coat pretty much done. And again, I can go back in and smooth out some of these transitions a little bit, but I really am liking how this is looking and then all we have really left is these two pieces we have the face and the pipe <laughs> right so what I'm thinking is that we're, we'll paint the face today and as you can see I have zenithal pr zenithal primed him primed him entirely black to start and then and I'm probably gonna end up holding him this way just so I can see him. Maybe I, let's see if I adjust my camera. Nope, that's better. That's better, no. Well, we'll figure it out. I'll just have to hold him like this down here so you guys can see him better. Anyway, um, then I took my, my white primer and I sprayed it from above and on this side so that he would have some shadows already built into his face. 
we need to hold it right about there. So that's a good spot. Hey, Spam Tex, how are you doing? Yes, it is gonna be an awesome mini. I'm really excited. It's painting up very fast and very easily. Okay, let's start, because I'm excited. One thing you guys already should know, I've been, I picked out, so Scale 75 always has the color chart on the back. And I've picked out almost all the colors already. So I have them, and then in, at that point, it's just a matter of breaking down and reconstructing what Julio has done. And I think we're gonna start with either eyes. No, we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the skin. And I'm looking at it and we may completely go, I don't know. I think we're gonna go with my skin tone um, technique for this rather than try to figure out what Julio's done here, just cause I like how I do skin. So you guys, you guys know me. I like to start with an olive green as my shadows. Now what I might do here, we might do a mix. He's got quite a lot of ruddy color in his, the lower half of his face and just a little bit in some of the lines on his forehead. So we might mix the green and the red together. Yeah, happy birthday, um, Artie Wolf. I'm so glad that you told me about that because I like to celebrate with my, my followers. All right, here we go. Let's see, I need a brush that has some actual, where do we go? I'm looking for a brush. This one is okay. This is probably not as, wait, let me get a better brush. Here's a Raphael 8404, number one. That's a probably got I want something with a little bit of, um, of a little bit of girth to the bristles so that it'll carry quite a bit of water. Okay. And I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to respect the shadows first. I'm going to take glasses off also. <laughs> Glasses are off and I'm gonna put my green in my shadowed areas first, a little bit into the beard, right? A little bit over here as well. I'm sorry, I'm wiggling the camera. My hat hits, hits it a little bit. I'll try to be more careful. And I'm, like I said, I'm just, normally I would paint the entire thing green, but I want to leave my highlights here so that when I go to highlight it, they'll be nice and bright and they won't have to fight the dark parts that much. Getting these little eye crow's feet he's got in his head. Here we go. Get the little, we'll get a little bit on his temple as well. Just everywhere that there's going to be shadows later. It will help into the hairline a little bit. Now I could, I could probably glaze some of this there. Yeah, I think that's what I might do. So all I'm doing is using the same color, but now I'm glazing it, which means it's very thin and the, the white of the primer is going to shine through. I just want to make sure that my darks are nice and dark. Here we go. And he's got nice little lines around his nose here. I want to make sure to get some of that in. Now we can go ahead and glaze the rest. If you have questions, please ask. I can stop at any time and explain things. Green, green, green. Okay, and a little bit of primer down in here in that crease. Okay, don't forget the ears. Lays that in the neck. And 
making sure to get the dark parts dark and then the light parts are going to be light. There we go. Good. Okay. All of, and people have asked me before, why do I do the green? And the reasoning is it will give us a neutral cool color to kind of contrast with our peaches and our and our cream you know creamy uh skin tones skin flesh colors so i hate saying flesh color because flesh color is is a misnomer so primers i recommend zen uh uh Steinl res here let me write it down for you guys you can find all of the primers down below on my profile in the um let's write this up here by Badger. You can find it down below in my, um, I've got a like show she recommends Amazon um, link. Badger ER, there we go. Final res, and I love it because if you look at the white, how smooth it is, it doesn't speckle, it doesn't spot, it's just gorgeous, it looks amazing. Yeah, I love it. Okay, now, Where's my reds? I need, um, not a yeah, maybe African Shadow. Let's see if I have another red in this. I don't, it's probably, like, we're gonna use some African Shadow. It's got, it's a little bit purpley. No, I don't want that. I want this one, red leather. This is what we're gonna use to get some of these red tones in here. And we'll be glazing with this a little bit as well. All right. I'll take glasses off again so I can see what I'm doing. Ah, Spantex, thank you for this hosting. I really, really appreciate that. Cause like, even when somebody isn't host, hosting a lot of people over, it really does help. People will see your um, friends, will see like, who is he watching? All right, so see, I'm gonna go back down here. Anywhere again where those dark, shadows were I'm, I need to thin this out I don't want it super super dark ah I probably need to get my paper towel so I can control my water you guys know I use sort of like a when, when it comes to I like to blot and then I can thin and push this around a little bit better okay right now I'm going to get the little Creases and up in here. There we go. Putting that red into, and you can see I'm painting into the hair. It's okay because it will kind of help help me help it seem like the hair has been thinned a little bit. See how that red on top of the green it makes it look deep, and that's. That's good. A little bit under there. And a little bit over here. I need to get this whole bottom half of the nose. And it's okay if that's a darker red because I'm going to I'm going to go over that quite a bit with I don't want it too bright. I, there we go. Just the just the shadows part. See how I controlled how much was on there with my finger. I tapped it. All right. If you yeah, thank you so much for using my at Shoshi's Minis. That helps me see. Hey Trillian, you're in and out today, flying, fighting with 3D printing that isn't cooperating. Well, it's so good to see you. I always enjoy having you in the, in the chat. All right, up, a t up above, here we go. I'm getting his little wrinkle lines. I want those to be red. And we're gonna go over those with the flesh colors. So if they're dark right now, what my hope is, is those will, 
those will calm down once I put the put the flesh on or the skin tone. Skin tone. Back up here into the into the hairline. See now we've got all of our tones in. This is the sketching, the underpainting that I like to do before. I want to show you something. Uh, I'm going to smooth that out because I don't want that so thick. I want to show you guys something on my phone. Let me get my phone here. So when I painted the gnomes, let me get my camera roll out. Oh, Talagar, thank you so much for the tip. I always appreciate that so much. All right, I want to show you. Look at this. This is how, can you, it's too washed out, isn't it? Let me see if I can turn the light off. That makes a big, a little bit of difference. You see how I started out the gnomes? I started out with greens and reds where I wanted those tones to be, and then I airbrushed, whoops, I airbrushed over the top. Oh, that you can't see at all. Oh, that's completely washed out, boo. Okay, but then you can see, there, that one's better. Can't see that that's the flesh tones. Um, and then I, wa I brushed it back in the reds, and then I started bringing out some of the other features. See? Starts getting more and more real. But I have those undertones in there to start with. See that? Such a nice technique. Would you do this for skin tones on 28 millimeters? I have. Um, I think it works better on bigger minis. Um, but I have used it on regular minis, yes. It, I think that bigger minis, it, it's more, it's better. All right, so now I am taking pink flesh. These are gonna be, I need, a, I need kind of my triad of tones here. I think that might work. I've got a few here. I've got a bunch. They're all from the box, like I said, on the back of the box scale 75 color chart. I'll just put them all on and I'm going to be using a mix and stuff. So glad. Trillian says, so glad I had time to watch. Your flesh tones are the best. Love watching you do them. Thank you. Yes, Trillian got to take my class at Gen Con, and she said that it was really helpful and she really enjoyed this technique. Um, I, I have to admit though that I do, I do my flesh tones a little bit different almost every time. So what you see, that's why I keep doing them is because there are so many different ways to do it. All right, white sand. But once you kind of learn why I'm doing things, you can start experimenting yourself. All right. Ta -da. There we go. That's more in focus. All right. So, glazing. We're going to glaze. That means we're going to thin out the paint. Look at this. I've got my paint. It's really washed out. I've got a ball of water that I just put right here. I'm going to take a little paint. I'm going to thin it out and then add water to it till it is a consistency that I like. And this is probably, let me show you, this is probably the consistency where you can still sort of see my skin through the paint, okay? But I might add a little bit more depending on, it's going to be, see how much paint is in the, in the, in the brush? And that keeps it from drying out. Yeah, okay. Ready? I'm going to take glasses off. Remember to put at Show She's Minis if you want to ask me a question or get my attention. All right, so it's got a lot of water in it. I'm going to dry that off a little bit, get a little bit more pigment this time. And I'm going to pull it toward the top. I'm starting with the nose because that is the, the brightest spot on the face. Like that's going to be the part that's going to hold the most light and then the forehead as well. And that way from then on I can shade up or, or highlight up or down depending on what I need to do. 
Yeah, I'm thinly going over those wrinkles now, and I probably will need to get back in there. At least that underpainting is there. And I'm gonna go all the way back to his hairline, and I'm gonna go back into the hair just a smidge. And now I go over that temple, see? And look at, see that underpainting is there. It stays. And go back over these eyebrows, cause it's okay. See that? All that underpainting was not for nothing. Keep it high up here. Put that eyelid down there. That's got a lot of green on it, so it's gonna be stay nice and dark. And then we're gonna paint over into this cheek, which had both the red and the green on it. Like, see how that stays dark and it kind of turns gray? But I want that. I'm pulling it into, I got a little line there because I let it dry. I don't want it to dry. It's okay, if we glaze it thin enough, it won't matter. That's my, that's why we glaze thin, so we can cover stuff like that. We don't want a crunchy line. Mm, see too much paint, because I covered up all my beautiful shadows. Spin that. Okay, so, getting there. That's just the first coat. Oh, we can put Hey, Geeky Girl Games, how are you? I know um, a few of you showed up on Wednesday and I I wanted to let you guys know, thank you so much for those of you who stuck around, even if it was just to say hi and like leave because I wasn't able to stream on Wednesday. I have started a new medication. I have seasonal affective disorder, which is a it's like, um, it's kind of like winter blues or seasonal depression is another name for it. It's got a whole bunch of symptoms and I get it like from now until March and it makes it really hard sometimes. And so the new medication makes me drowsy, but I'm hoping that will make me a lot more productive than I normally am in the winter because it's really, really hard to do anything because I just want to hibernate, <laughs> right? All right, see how that looks? There's a lot of gray to his face right now, but we're gonna be gradually highlighting up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a glaze over that upper eyelid. Got that underpainting under it already. We'll just cover the whole eye, because it's thin. It won't, it won't paint it too much. Get this bottom lip. Need it to be a little thicker. Anybody who lives in like the northern climates tends to understand a little bit more. I live in Illinois, which is not very far north, but we have extremely gray and cloudy winters and it makes it very difficult because um, we become vitamin D deficient and um, my brain just does not want to make its own good chemicals during this time of year. So I just take some little, my mom always says, better living through chemistry, you know? <laughs> I like to spread a little, do you notice how I just put a little red on the end of his nose and he automatically, boom, looks alive. Boom, he looks alive. Cause he's got a little bit of red on the end of his nose. And I'm gonna put a little bit on these cheeks as well. Making sure it's thin. See that? Boom. He's alive. That green sort of starts to disappear too. That's what I like. All right, I see a lot of my names. You were yo, you were there. Awesome. Thank you, Spanitex. What colors am I using for the skin? Um, sneaky tiny small. I am using right now, I'm using mostly pink flesh, I think, and a little bit of red leather. Those are the two colors I'm currently using. And I started with the base of Adrian, Adrian Ardenus Green. Sorry, Ardenus Green, scale 7545. There's scale 7545. 
red leather, scale 7524, and P flush, scale 7521. But I have some other, yeah, walking helps tons. Yeah, we need bottles of sunshine. I have a happy light. Um, let me show you. It, it, I, I turn it on and it's like light. I keep it on while I'm painting and it makes a huge difference. 15 minutes a day. And I don't know what's been going on, but this year and last year, I, I did, I it was the first time I needed like any kind of med medica medication help. Before in the past, a light box was all I needed. So I'm just not taking any chances this year. Here we go. Okay, he looks terrible on camera. Why does he look terrible? All right, I need to smooth things more. Oof, I see some mi big mistakes. Ah, sorry guys. Bump the, bump the camera a little bit. Go back over this with a little glaze. We're gonna build this up. I'm gonna check chat again one more time and see some more. Michigan, pretty soon I will be waking up when it's dark and living in home, driving home in the dark. I know it's not even the time change. New meds always cause problems, yes. Yes, same, it sucks, but we persevere. Aw, oh, thank you guys so much. <laughs> I missed almost Zab's first question. I'm like a mama bear. Yeah. <laughs> Camera quake. Yes, it needs more cat hair. You have depression and anxiety and it can be hard to do things. I know. So that was what was, that's why I started on the meds is because my anxiety was just driving me crazy. It was too much. I mean, I can, I can actually power through a little depression, but I do not like the way anxiety makes me feel at all. <laughs> And I shouldn't even say it like that power through because it's, it kind of isn't the right attitude to have about it. But uh, not a fan of anxiety. Okay, I'm just getting his little red nose. I really like that nose. Let me take a peek. Now there's quite a bit of blue in his skin on here. I'm not ready to add that in yet. So let's get this. There's a big muscle on the side of the cheek right there. Okay. This is about the time where we need to go in and do the eyes. And I think the way Julio starts his eyes is he does not do a black background around the edge. Maybe only on the top. So I'm gonna start, what does he use? Let's use this color, this blue. I think that looks, ooh. Maybe not. Probably needs to be a warmer color. Let's try this pale skin. We just don't want to use white. It will not, not work out. All right, I'm gonna paint the whole inside of the eye. And I guess he just uses the primer or the, this brush might not be small enough. Yeah, I guess that's all I need. That looks pretty good. See that? All right, now we flip it upside down to do the other side. Are you able to see that? And I always look at them upside down too so that I can see if they're even. All right, that looks pretty good. We got another side to do on this one. There we go. Do build it up so that it's bright enough. Okay. Now, W. W. Julio, what would he do? Looks like there's a little bit of red on the under eyelid, and there's a darker color along the top, and then. So I'm gonna do that darker color first. And I think I wanna use Abyssal Blue or this black leather. One, I wanna use a dark color. I think I'm gonna try for this black leather. It's a little bit more purple, so it'll look more like a shadow color. Plus it's got a little bit of red in it. So it'll feel more natural by the eyes. I'm gonna just 
try to line the top of this up here. Because that is going to, oh, you know what I should have done? It's okay. I'll still work with it. I'll do the other side. Probably should have done this shadow color after I painted the eyeball, but it'll work. Ah, see? Maybe that's a good reason why you should wait. Uh, I got too much. I can wipe it away with the with the water if I'm quick. There we go. Do it one more time on the side. See that? It looks dark. I want that. I want to see. Oh, he's got some other dark shadows in here. I want to put some more dark shadows in here with the other parts of this purple. Try to really thinly paint some of these little wrinkles in here because those are going to get lightened up. All right, he looks creepy right now. Creepy. Yay. Try mini for many sakes, thank you so much for the follow. Let's write down your name. <laughs> I wish what something is going on with the uh, way the light it doesn't look right. I don't know. Bottle of it, yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, AMA Texas, thank you so much for tuning in. I want to write down Crimeny, Cry, Crimeny, Crimeny. <laughs> Hi, R.G. Bauer. How are you? M-I-N-Y sakes. Welcome so much to the channel. He sees into the future, yes. He's seeing that maybe Moby Dick is coming his way. All right, so now let me take a peek at this again. I'm just going to use a little bit of this lighter skin tone color that I used on the, his eye. I'm just going to get in here and try to do the top of this eyelid because we're going to make it have that pink on it. The pink color. I might use a little bit of this or no. Maybe a little bit of the red and a little bit of the yeah. Okay, so I mix a little red leather and I'm going to just carefully see if this is going to work. Yep, that works perfect. A little bit of red on top of that eyelid where I just put that lighter color. Because apparently Ahab has been awake for many moons trying to hunt down Moby Dick. All right, now we use black. I need to find a black. Flat black, scale 7500. A little bit. This is for the eye. We don't use a lot of black on our minis. But this is a good place for it. Okay. So, I want him kind of looking forlorn. So, I want to, I th I've, I've shown how to do eyes before. This time I'm just going to try to paint it. I need a smaller brush though because this brush is large where hmm, Julio recommends that you get one of the miniature series from Windsor Newton. This does not look like this might be a miniature series. I'm not sure. Oh, we got a follower. Or is that a subscriber? Glacier Eyes, thank you so much for the subscription. Oh my gosh. Just subscribed with twin with Twitch Prime. Let me write down your name. Glacier Eyes. Woohoo! That is a new sub. So now we're up to 215. Did I write that? 215 out of 225. And that's, I think so we were at two points because we had originally 213 and we went up two more. And so we only need four more points to give away a mini. And that since I don't have any unpainted ones or sorry painted ones i can give out unpainted i do have lots of unpainted minis 
from Dark Sword and Reaper to give out. I'm not liking how there's these super dark shadows, so I'm gonna go in here with my with my paint and see if I can paint those out a little bit because I don't want those super, super dark right now. Did my music disappear? Nope, I hear it. Okay, there's just a quiet part in it. Go over the unpainted bits. That looks better, a little better anyway. We went, we ran our first rerun on Twitch and it was, uh, it was interesting. I'd never done that before, so that was kind of fun. All right, this is a little bit of the basic flesh, flesh shade on top of here. This is my first highlight. Ooh, ugh, I need to stop that. Oh my gosh, so sorry, guys. I will do better. <laughs> Camera quake, as they say. Thin glaze, spreading it around with like kind of a mop swishing kind of directional stroke. Okay, getting there. He's looking a little ruddy. That's okay. We need to get the ears. Those, the green areas will kind of recede and become shadows. the top of that ear and the bottom of the ear too don't forget that looks good I like that ear I like this music it's very fast All right, I need to check chat. Looks like there was a bunch of hype. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was for Glacier Eyes. Thank you so much for typing that in, Lamunas and Cat Leanne. I appreciate that hype for, for Glacier Eyes. Used to be six months back to back, but then the parents all got sick and couldn't get on Twitch with, to renew. I'm so sorry, Glacier Eyes, but I'm so glad to see you back. Awesome. The bot, how are you? The bot TC is here. Cat Leanne. <laughs> Always have problems with your magnifying glasses hitting the lamp here. Yep. <laughs> Dudes, I think I just hit my head on all the random stuff all the time. Lady Inquisitor says that I should wear my snowboarding helmet all the time. <laughs> Zab, that's hilarious. That's, that's funny. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but one side of the face is looking more alive. This side is looking more zombified okay he needs some pupils we need to get those pupils in here asap it's gonna make a big difference all right i'm gonna look all right i gotta take glasses off and i gotta concentrate on my breath notice that i did not paint a circle i painted like a semicircle. Can you guys see that? Now I'm going to flip it and I need to try to match those eyes. See if I can get that about the same. Looks pretty good. He's kind of got weird eyes anyway, so if they don't match 100%, probably because one eye is kind of folded over the other. Here, I'm going to give you guys a little upper eyelid right here. Mm 
much better. Okay. Now we've got those beautiful eyes in and we just need to put, we need to make them blue. So I'm looking at my box. And I think what Coolio does is he paints a little circle in rather than try to paint a separate pupil. Let's see, what color did I use? I wanna use a little bit of this and a little bit of this mix because I don't want to, this bright, but I don't want this light either because this is a little too, this is almost white. It's too, too light, but I want a little bit of blue. Just a smidgen. Here we go, perfect color. There's my color right there. There, perfect. Need a little water. Okay, and I think he paints his little, like a little line. I don't know if that's gonna work. I might have to paint that. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this pupil in separate and just control it a little better. Yeah, that looks good. I tried, tried to do what Julio does. I know what he does. Ugh. See how I leave that little bit of tiny bit of a rim around the eye and I didn't quite get it. So I'm gonna go back in. I messed up a little bit on this side. Fix it. All right, now for the pupil, it's gonna be right by the lid, top lid. So I'm gonna try to do this side first. Oh, looks good. Oh, nope, almost. Not quite. All right, let me try again. Hand is shaking just a smidge today. Actually, that works. I don't mind that. I'm going to see if I can clean it up just a little bit with my blue. See that? See, did you see my hand shake just a smidge? All right, now the whites. Let's see if he's got that in there. He does. Take a little bit of this ivory and on one side, and my light is coming from this side, so I'm gonna try to make this side of the blue a little bit lighter. Oof, I love, oh my gosh. Can you guys see that? All right, now. We're gonna paint all of the eyes right now because I feel like this is the point. I'm gonna use a little bit of this turquoise right here. Just a smidge and I'm gonna paint in some of the shadowed areas. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, what turquoise, what are you doing? Yep, because I want blue, because our, our, our veins and everything are in here. Does that make sense? Now, I need to paint that upper eyelid some more. And let me look at this. The rest of all of the shadows are pretty dark. It's got a lot of really dark shadows up here. Let me use a little bit more of this purple color. A little bit more red color. Perfect. 
purple, uh, red and turquoise make sort of a purpley color. See that how that blue is causing it to look deep? That's what I want. <laughs> this side of the face is going to be better just because I'm right-handed. All right, I got to go back and look at chat. I admit, I've been ignoring you guys. Hello, Kapaka42. How are you? Oh, my gosh. RG Bauer says, the, ca the, ca the camera seems a little bit out of focus after the bump. Yeah, I think you might be right. Let me let me go back and focus a little bit and see if I can adjust. Let's see if it'll let me do it like this. Hopefully it will stick. All right, let me see. It's gonna, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go try to focus. Oops, to take off my mic. Okay, that should be better, hopefully. Does that seem better for you? Oh my goodness. What happened with the paint along with the vampire bust? We're gonna be doing that this month, Glacier Eyes. I'm in the process of figuring out everything for the PDF so I can send that out to everybody. Let's see. Yep, coming very soon. Amberden says, I was amused during Flick class, weekend paint class, constantly bashing your light with the magnifying. Oh, oh. <laughs> Almost Ab says, I have a painting class with Scott. Gonna try to not spill stuff and make a fool of yourself. <laughs> How many brushes do I have ready? I just, I have a whole bunch. I have, they're kind of like all over the place too. All right, there we go. This eye looks good. Why does it look so bad on camera though? There's some, hold on, there's some darks missing maybe. Let me, let me see if I can paint this side of the face so it looks better. We gotta, we gotta get everything in focus for you guys so that it looks, looks like it's got paint on it. There we go. Finally got the right amount of paint in my brush. A little bit of paint on the eyelid here. There we go. Starting to look like old man. Slowly. Oh, that's better. When we get, I think I need to paint his hair because I think that's part of why he looks goofy. Let's do that right now. So I'm gonna start with a gray. Let's see, I think I'll mix these two together. This is a bl abyssal blue and black leather. Hey, Flickster, how you doing? Let 
Are you looking forward to streaming today? So we're gonna we're gonna be hosting Flick Flick after the show. He's got some awesome awesome charity stuff going on. Flick, please uh, feel free to give yourself a little little self promo about your about your stream. I totally am okay with that. So I am giving you permission. Um. Okay. So I'm making a gray. That looks like this with a mixture of the Abyssal Blue and the, what is it, the red leather. And then I think we're going to highlight up with this color mixed with a little bit of this color, Pale Skin and Arctic Blue. So we're mixing reds and, basically reds and blues. Yep, go give Flickster a follow. He is a triptych, triptych friend. <laughs> I'm mixing all my colors in advance because we're going to do some wet blending here with the hair. Okay. So here's, here's the color that I mixed. It's kind of a cold white. Isn't that weird? So I basically mixed these two together pale skin and arctic blue to get a cold white. This is a warm and this is a cold, but it's interesting because that's definitely a cold white. This whole model has a lot of cold colors. All right, so now I'm gonna do my base tone, which is those first two colors mixed together. There we go. Not too much. We need it nice and creamy to do, to do wet blending. I'm gonna take my glasses off for just a second. Hang on. Flickster says, I've been trying to whisper you, but Twitch is literally, oh, I see a whisper now. I have none. Oh, you have none. I have no idea what you're talking about. None. I don't know. <laughs> Flick, you're gonna have to, telling you, not telling you. Twitch is literally not telling you. I'm so confused. Message me. Question mark. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, figuring it out. All right, now the color. We have to keep this wet. Taking glasses off. I'm getting especially by the hairline because I need that to be rather clean. Paint this relatively quickly. See how this is going to really pop out his skin color because you need this. You need to be able to see. Oh, tags. I have no tags. I didn't even know. I totally forgot I needed tags. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do educational and figure painting and all kinds of good stuff here. There we go, miniature painting. Update information. Flick is my is my helper. He totally helps me when I forget stuff. All right, so this is wet. Now I need to make sure I'm gonna take some of this other color, try to get a sort of a mid-tone. We're gonna mush, mush some of this lighter color on here.
See how that goes on top? I'm hoping it will not chalk up on me. That's what I'm hoping. Now I get the darker color back. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna do the sideburns because those need to stay nice and dark. See, that makes a huge difference. You're able to see his face so much better now. Get the lighter color, mush, mush, mush. That's a technical term. Wet blending is mush. Take a little bit of lighter color. A little bit of dark again on the mustache. Sides of the face. Lighter again. That's a lot lighter. We need to get that over on the other side too. I'm not blocking him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Flick, he cracked me up. We got it. We got it all taken care of now. Emily Ang 71, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Trying to get this lighter color to go in. Good. See, I can build it up slowly. Pretty, I'm pretty sure that Julio used wet blending. I'm not super 100% sure, but I'm, I can tell. You can kind of tell when something's been wet blended. Let's use that lighter color again. Let's go straight up here. See that? Blended. Kind of painting in the direction the hair is going. All right, so that's slowly drying. Let's get a little bit more of the lighter color again. This is just straight lighter color. And I'm gonna attempt to pick out some of these little highlighted spots that are like the tufts, right? Oh, I just got the top of his ear by accident. Especially, I want the white part to be on the edge here. Right there. A little bit on his mustache again. I, on the edge of the mustache is more even more even more important. Okay. So this, there's like a, see how I can do this too? This with the white. Oh, call overbrushing. I'm 
coming down on the back of his head. I'm trying to follow the highlights roughly. And we're just adding more and more lighter color as we go. It's starting to look, it's starting to look good. It's starting to look like a grizzled old sailor, which is what he is. And if it, if we, if we get a little bit of the facial hair color on the skin, that's totally fine because it could be growing out of other parts. Let's do the middle of the beard a little bit lighter. Because I feel like the, there's these parts right here on a guy that get like less, less lighter. How do I say that? Try to get rid of some of these dark, dark parts. I want this to be lighter over here. And of course, by the temple, I want it to be nice and white. I need to check chat. I'm totally ignoring you guys again. Hey, Genuine Vision, how are you? We're painting our face for Captain Ahab. Come along nice. We're just getting lighter and lighter as I'm going. I didn't do his eyebrows yet. Hold on. See if I can do this part right here. There we go. And I will need to go back over some of this for the there we go. Ooh, I'm liking it. Let's get this little tuft. He's got a little tuft of hair at the top of his head. Again. And at a certain point, it's gonna get, it's gonna stop getting lighter, right? It's gonna just be the top of the color, and that's when we'll need to add a little bit of, let's see if what happens when I add, woo, flying brush, just a little bit of the blue, oh, that's it, boom, 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 see how it reads as white, but it's actually blue, pop, 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 and I'm looking, Julio's got more yellow in his than I have, I might have to go and fix. I like this though. Yay, a subscriber. Spamtex just subscribed at the tier one. Thank you so much, Spamtex. Now where are we at? We are at 100 and 216. We need three more subscribers to give away a mini. We'll be giving away a unpainted mini because I don't have any painted ones at the moment. Spamtex. There we go. Thank you so much, Famtex. Blue is nice. I think it's nice too. Although, I think it needs to be more, it's it's not right. It's It looks cool, but look, when we add it, he looks really blue. And I don't, it's not supposed to be blue. It's supposed to be more off gray, like a, a almost, let's see if I can mix this color. I think what I need to do is add like a little bit of flesh tone to my blue to warm up this gray just a skosh. Yep, that's what I need to do. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't know why, but it just needs it.
Yeah, that helps. I just added a little bit of flesh tone to it. Remember how that, for whatever reason, that flesh tone, it warms it up. There we go. Still looks gray, but now it's not quite so blue. It actually makes a good highlight too. I feel like my eyes aren't so great today. There we go. Yeah, I needed to warm that up just a little bit. Ooh, I need to take a break. Hang on one second. Hey, sneaky tiny small and oh boy, Super Dungeon Explorer is gonna arrive tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> you made it, Super Sarah. I'm taking a second. I'm gonna take a drink of a little bit of soda. Ooh, okay. Mm. I'm not really digging stuff. Let's see. So we've got these dark shadows up here. Let me see if I can add some down here. little bit of green. Yeah, that makes him look a lot better with that green shadow on the side of his nose. He's got some, like I said, he's got some green on his temple too, like over here. And then I can add a little bit of the flesh color up here. So does anybody have plans for the weekend? Anybody going to see any movies or go do anything cool? Paint anything cool? So now I'm painting this flesh just a little bit up into that gray because I want to minimize some of that. Starting to look a little better on this side. This side is this side needs work. Mike wants to go see uh, the first man. He is a huge buff of uh, astronauts and flight and you know all that. So I don't know if I want to see it, but I I may I may go anyway just to spend some time with him. There we go, nice and red in this area. That's what this needs over here too, a little bit of redis. There we go, nice and ready. I like that. And then definitely he's got um, some on these, these are called nasolabial lines. I think that's what they're called. Mm, I see a little, little dot right here. There we go.
so much easier to paint the um, <laughs> the, the right side of his face, I'm saying. All right, check and chat with glasses on. Looking good, awesome. He's starting to look a little bit more natural. He's still got too many dark lines on him in my opinion, but I think we need, what could I do? Let me mix a little bit of this black leather with this blue and see what I can do. Okay, I mixed a, just a smidge of black leather with the pe with the flesh color. Ah! And now I'm gonna try. Ooh, we got a subscriber. The Real Brush Guy. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Real Brush Guy. Oh, Trillion gave him a, aw. Oh, they've given six subs. Thank you so much, Trillion, for gifting that to, to Brush Guy. Now you can use you can use the, uh, the emotes in my channel. Trillion, Real Brush Guy is a good friend of mine. Um, and uh, he's actually a really great painter himself. You can follow him on, uh, on his blog, the, the realbrushguy.com, I think is, is what it is. <laughs> oh, Enigma Hobbies. Oh, thank you so much. Just wanted to show a little love to a true master. You rock. Keep up the great work. Oh, man. Mad love. Oh, my gosh. Love you guys. Um, let's give some hype to everybody who's just been so generous just now. The Trillion and... Um, um, ah, Enigma. Just look for the brush guy on Facebook. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Okay, I need to mix. Hmm. I think I need some brown tones, honestly. Let's look for, where is my brown? Hmm. There it is. Brown leather. I'm going to just do a little bit of brown in his skin because it's just, we need to warm up the skin. It's looking really cold right now. Just a little bit over here. Sorry about that again. I hit the, oh yeah, that's that looks good actually. I just glaze it until it looks right, you know? Oh, too much brown. Too much brown into hair. Oh yeah, that, that really helped though, God. Do that down here. Whoa, what a difference. Wow. Okay, we need to do the brown on some of his wrinkles. And that's what I kept seeing, just a little bit of yellow in his skin tone. And I think it was coming from the, gla the brown being glazed out. Okay, I'm gonna get in here with his, his little wrinkles. How do you say wrinkles in German? Do you know? I know brush guy does. Sag man wrinkles auf Deutsch. Okay. I'm gonna get in all of the shadowed areas with the brown now and see what that does. It really adds a depth, I think, that I didn't have before. 
Man, I really like that. All right, now you gotta see. Enigma says, I actually met you at Nova, but that was a really hectic weekend for me. It was. You were with Sam at the Magnet Baron booth. Oh, that's cool. Falten, it's Tice Falten. Okay, I'm gonna paint the, the Falten. Ah, and hopefully not drop my... All right. You guys know I've been teaching myself German for about almost three years now. And it's starting to really click, finally. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm hopefully, I'm planning on trying to make a trip to, um, to the Netherlands for World Model Expo in 2020. I'm really hoping to make it. Look at that. That is amazing. I love that co that depth. Do this. It's kind of got a little bit of a broken nose. Just a little bit. Maybe he gets in little sailor fights. I need to do something about his head, though. What am I doing? He needs a little bit of red up in here. That's better. Can I glaze that on? And then we're going to mix a little bit of this flesh color with that Purple tone. Starting to feel more and more alive. Now we need some highlights. Let's do a little bit of this color, which is, we got this color, light skin. All right, I need to look at chat. Oh, thank you so much. I feel like that the, the model is not showing up the greatest on, on camera. The, it's for some reason it's Thank you, R.G. Bauer. <laughs> Wrinkles are ployee in Afrikaans. I love learning other languages. I just love it. Can't get enough. All right, I'm getting the... Trying to get in the, um, what do you call it? The... Not the wrinkles, but the, the raised parts of this. These are really dark wrinkles. I need to glaze a little bit over, over them. Getting there. That one's a little too... All right. This is the bright part. This is the part where we start popping highlights a little bit. Right? Right here. That part needs to be way darker. So he's got a really dark shadow right under his eyeballs, right under his brows.
like I said, I'm I'm copying Julio. Gonna get his stuff in here. Love how Julio paints. He seems to like it when I copy him too. I think he gets flattered. It really, really helps to kind of picture somebody you know when you're doing this kind of thing. So now we're getting, we're gonna get the highlights in here. So oh, sometimes I need to go back and glaze, glaze it back a little bit because it's too bright. Smooth it. Sometimes it's not bright enough. And this whole area of his head up here, that could all be bright. Right, because he's he's got an old man pate. Look at that. Bam. Okay, glasses back on. <laughs> We need to do the eyebrows because they look funky. <laughs> You're right. Thank you for the Afrikaans. <laughs> All right. Eyebrows are mostly darker gray. Let's see. Here we go. Now the lighter color on the top. That, that looks much better with that eyebrow on there. It's so funny how the, few, the human face doesn't look right without eyebrows. Here's the lighter color on top. I don't have enough paint, enough water in my paint. There we go. There we go. For some reason, it's not cooperating. Why isn't it cooperating? I need the darker part in. Hmm. Here we go. Much better. Now I should be able to get the lighter part because I didn't look right. There we go. I love it. Okay, here's that warm color I need on top. It's just got a little bit of purple in it. I feel like that's much better. It doesn't look so blue now. Is 
Isn't it interesting how you can mix colors together that you would not ever expect to get the right thing? That's why I like to deconstruct other people's work because especially like people like Julio, they use really surprising colors in their work. And once you deconstruct something, it's like you're teaching yourself how to do it. And after you learn those things, it kind of goes into the memory bank. Does that make sense? It goes into the memory bank and it stays there. I feel like it does it a lot better than if somebody were to give you a recipe. So yeah, I need to go lighter with that because for whatever reason, that's dark. There we go, that's covering it. See? Painting it almost like a canvas. Go here with a little bit lighter. Bam, bam. All right, let me look at eyes because I feel like he's got something going on here. Like on the eyelid, let me do a little bit of this pink. Oh, sorry about that camera, guys. I think that more actually visibly pink. Oh, that looks good. Wow. And then he took a little bit of this and he goes ta ta ta. Just a tiny. Well, that might be too much. Get rid of that. He's got these little bitty dots on the center. Here we go. Right underneath the actual eye. Whew. Looking alive, Ahab. Let's hold it up to the, oh yeah. See how that, that warm, it pulls out this peach or this, um, I don't know if that's peach, but this, that looks so much better. Look at the difference. Isn't that crazy? This is the blue and this is the warm. And look at that, it pulls it out. But it's, he's got both colors in the coat. It's gonna look really nice. Wow. Heviston says, I'm off camera. Was I off camera? Was I way down here? <laughs> when I said gray hair, then pulled out red leather and deep blue, I confused you, but watching you build it up makes so much, I know, right? But I'm also mixing these two as well. These are the lighter colors. So like I mixed, I mixed the blue and this is my palette. This is the red leather and the blue, and it makes this gorgeous gray. And then this is the flesh color and this blue, and then I mix a little bit of red leather to make a warmer color, desaturated, warmer red. And that's going, that's going over the top of my blue here just to warm it up a skosh. Right? Just a little bit on top of the eyebrow up here. Let me use a little bit of the flesh highlight by itself to pick out a few brighter highlight. There we go. Just the flesh highlight, right? Is it the closer that you get to the mouth, the more white I think it gets? Or is it the darker? I can't remember. Julio has the advantage of actually having facial hair, so I just have to guess and copy. Guess and copy, Julio. And ask my wonderful chat for help. <laughs> a little bit more red on that top here. 
There we go. So it's that little bit of the, it's ba what is the color? The color is like pale skin. That's what the, it looks like white, but it's not white, it's pale skin. It's got just, just a hint of the, uh, the lighter colors, right? Blend that in. I like to get these little tufts to be the lightest part. We totally forgot the ear on this side. I'll have to get that, go back and get that. Okay, ear, let's do the ear. Are we running out of time? It's 4.02. We have a half hour. Nope, we still got time. Got All right, this is the ear. And that's with the pink flesh. I'm just going to cover the spots so far. Get a little bit of that. I got a little bit on his beard, but that's okay. I'll fix it. Let me check chat. I see people are trying to get my attention. I'm off cam. Was I off cam? I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. This is how he's looking. He's looking old and haggard. It's, um, there we go. So you can see I need to go back in and, and accentuate some of my shadows a lot because I need to be darker. Let me see if I can do that with a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue and a little bit of brown. See what happens when I mix those two together. Might be too dark. Mm, too dark. Too stripy looking. Um, hmm, let's try this purple instead. Yeah, that's better. Oh, needs to be more gray though. You did just see me lick my brush, sorry. I've been trying to get out of the habit of that for a long time. Here we go, we're starting to build up these shadows a little bit. That's what he was lacking. Let's try not to get them too, too stripey. I feel like I need a, just a little bit of magenta because colors are not, this red is a little too, it's too, um, too dark. There we go. Ooh, that gave him some life. He definitely needed that magenta right here and here. Let me try that magenta under his eye as well. Like it. Okay, 
Okay, that's really pink, so we're gonna pull some of that off and down into that. Looking better. Like, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm gonna f work on this until it looks like Julio's. Got a little bit of pink up in here, too. Now I got way too much in this hair. Oop. I think I've been overworking one side and that's what's throwing me off a little bit. That side should be a lot darker. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Much better. Like, I really want him to look like he's, like, alive. I want him to look perfect. Progress, not perfection, though, right? Put this pocket down here. All right, I need to look at chat. Hi, Art of Mike Disney. How's it going? Was I off cam again? Maybe some magenta on the nose? Yeah, I agree. Look at he's looking really sallow right now. Um... A little magenta on the nose, but yeah. Let's do that. Pop, pop, pop. A little bit up here, too. Much better. Ugh, why does that side of his face look so bad? You can hear my inner critic. That's better. Getting better. Do a little bit of glazing over the whole thing so it doesn't look quite so shallow. He's getting there though, huh? Let's look at the box. Needs more red, maybe? A little bit more. There was a more here and then I took it away. Better. And I feel like this top of his head up here is even lighter.
Okay. This part needs to have some reds in it. Let's see. There we go. Okay, I'm training, I'm having to go back in and get some of these darker, deeper shadows in his beard. And then we'll go back in here and feather those out a little bit. Oh, sorry guys again. Me and my wonky hat. That's better. We need a little bit of green right here. It's amazing how many colors are in human skin, right? Well, we've got a good start at least, and I'll, I'll be able to go back with, you know, fresh eyes after the stream and pick out some of the stuff here that I cannot see on stream due to my poor eyesight. There we go. Starting to look better, huh? All right, I'm going to pop this off and see how it looks like on the model. What do you guys think? Right on. <laughs> doing well. How am I? I'm doing good. There we go. Just pop that off. Get the model out. We are trying to fit this in here. I think there's a little extra super glue I got to pick off. Northern Prophet, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Take off some of this excess super glue. See, it's coming off. Northern Prophet, I'm going to write your name down just one second. There we go. Welcome to the channel. All right, let's see how this looks. There we go. Oh, like it. All right, I think we de definitely should not glue that in yet because I just realized I didn't paint the back of his neck. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Let's do a little glazing. Supposed to be more gray, so I'm gonna give it some, uh, some of this gray down here. Ah. There we go. What do I recommend a good starting mini to paint from scale 75? Um, Lake Crasher, I recommend that you try out one of their chibis because they're really cheap and I mean if you don't have a lot of a mini painting experience they have a full tutorial on most of those minis and uh, it can be really helpful and you use all the same techniques on the regular mint on the regular paint too let me show you so I, t I painted this one this is one of their chibi minis this is Anne Reed and if you look, 
there's a code on the back that comes, it'll go to the tutorial. There's the color chart. And then inside is another like thing. And it'll show you step by, like roughly a step by step. And you can use all of these same, look at there's non-metallic metal, silver, non-metallic metal, gold. And it shows you how to, how to do those, but there's a more in-depth tutorial online. And that's why I like, if I were to start out with a Scale 75 Mini, I would start out with one of these. Look at this. It shows you on the, on the tutorial how to do this. And then here's my Mini that I did in Julio's workshop. And look at how stinking cute she is. You know, I used metallic metal for her, for her metals. Because I did not feel like using... Look at that. Cute. So that would be what I would recommend if I were going to get uh, a Scale 75 model to start with. And then then you can graduate to some maybe a bust or maybe, you know, maybe one of the um, fantasy or, or historical lines that they have. Hey, x -Morth, how's it going? All right, let's see. We're, we're needing to finish the glazing on the back of this neck here. Make sure it looks human. Again, I'm trying to keep the shadows in here as well. Totally forgot the front of the neck. Didn't even bother with it. Oh my goodness. Probably okay because it sits down into his scarf for the most part, but there's, I didn't want to miss it. All right. Let's see how that looks. Probably need another, another layer on there. Yeah, just a little bit of a layer on there. Do a little bit of gray in the middle. What I want is, um, let's mix a little bit of red and green together to get sort of a brown tone. There we go. I need to fix his beer before I glue in his head as well and make sure that all the colors are mushed in how I want. That's good enough. This part of his neck needs fixing, this little doodad. Make sure his ears match his neck. Oh, see, I, I just glazed too much on his forehead there. There we go. All right, let's put that in and see. Yay. Oh my gosh, I love him. And I'll get, again, I need to go back and like do a lot more to him. So, but I am going to go ahead and Glue him in. Ooh, 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 ooh. With a little bit of super glue. There we go. Just a skosh. Let that sit. And now we can see when we put in his pipe, how that's going to look. Isn't that going to look great? I'm really excited. I think we'll put it right on the side of his, I think there's a little notch right under his, right by his lip that goes right there. Make sure that that is going to fit. Yeah, there is a little notch right there. Okay, so 
So this is really awesome. Hmm, we, we will, I have the, I only have 10 minutes left. So we could. Cat Tag, thank you so much for following. Welcome. Attack. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, but yeah, we can, we can put that on next time and finish painting the hand. I mean, that will probably not take a whole stream though. So what I'm thinking is next Monday, we will go ahead and finish painting our panda. I started painting the panda on last, it was like two Wednesdays ago. And um, we didn't get them finished because last week I just could, I just had no energy. Like I said, I've been adjusting the new medication. I did get his base worked on and that's his little, this is from Cartoon Minis. He's gonna be awesome. He's all set to, I put a little water effect down in there. Um, yes, Panda. <laughs> I think so what, what we'll do on Monday is we'll finish working on this hand finish up Ahab and we'll, we'll start working on Panda and look we've only need two more subscribers to get a, a free like a get mini giveaway for our subscribers we do subscriber giveaways right now because we're on a on an emote kick we're so close all right let me put this down here he looks so good I'm so happy let's do this this little stick Yay, looks good. And here's the box art. Not bad, not bad. Need some more highlights on his face, but he's looking good. Yay. <laughs> All right, let's look for someone fun. Oh wait, we have about five minutes left. Let me see if Flick is up yet. I don't think he is because he is who we are hosting. Actually, he might have started a while ago. Yep, he is on. We will go ahead and raid Flickster the Awesome. All right. Let's see. I want you guys to come back. Let's do let's do some mad hype. Let's do No, no, no. Mad love. All right. We're going to we're going to copy paste this. If you want to use um, Mad Love, let's see. We can type Mad Love from Shoshi's Minis. If you have our emotes, you can use this one. I think this one will be a lot of fun. We'll do we'll do hype and mad love. Okay. How about that one? If you want to copy and paste that. If you have our emotes, if you don't copy and paste the above one. All right. We're going to raid. Let me go back. All right. <laughs> All righty, there we go. There's our awesome guy. Oops. Whoops, there we go. I, there we go. Did it work? Yes. All right, guys. I want to give you guys some mad love, and I will see you on Monday, 2.30 to 4.30 Central, GMT minus 5. All right, bye.